Welcome to part five, and this is where we get to add in the currencies to our Magento system. Now, if I remember, Matt, this is where you've had some fun previously, isn't it? <laughs> it is, because if you don't do it now, what happens, and I'm laughing because I've been through the pain and I'm saving you the trouble for this one, is that when you go through and you don't add these currencies or enable them within Magento, is that M2E Pro will allow you to go in and create new listing groups within M2E Pro, and then you get to your price, quantity, and format policy, and you get stuck. Because M2E Pro then says you haven't enabled these currencies and you've got no idea where you're supposed to be setting them to. So I've been there, I've been through the pain, and we're going to nail this one off really early. So what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be adding in euros for Germany and also Australian dollars for, funny enough, Australia. Now, of course, if you're adding in eBay US, for example, then you want to go and enable US dollars. And of course, if you're looking to sell into the United Kingdom, then you're going to want to enable pound sterling. OK, and of course, any other currencies which you want to add. So with that said, Dave, should we go and do this? Let's go and do it. We'll catch up with you in Magento in a few moments time. So we've been and come back to the dashboard in Magento, Dave. And can you also see that we've got a store views drop down box over here as well? I can indeed. OK, so look out for that drop down box because it does appear in numerous places now within Magento because we do have these additional store views within our account. And again, even though that we set them as being disabled, they still do appear in this drop down box. And again, it's one of the cool things about using Magento. Now, we need to show you how to get these currencies and enabled in Magento. And Dave, it's really easy to do. Good. Because <laughs> <laughs> we like the easy stuff, don't we? Yeah, we like easy. Easy is good. Excellent. So you need to go into system, then down to configuration, then on the left-hand side. So let me just scroll my screen down a touch. On the left-hand side, underneath general, you want to go and click on currency setup. So go and click into currency setup. And this is where we can add in the additional currencies to Magento. Now, if you do come to this page and they're all squashed up like that, just click on currency options at the top and then expand this out. Now, before we go any further, it's really important that I do point out that you are going to need to press and hold down the control key when you add these additional settings in. The reason being, and again, I'll show you on my screen right now, is that if you don't hold down the control key, you're only going to select one of these at a time. But we need to, in our case, we need to add in euros, and we also need to add in Australian dollars as well. So let's just make sure that pound sterling is selected. Again, if yours was set to United States dollars or USD, then you'll need to Make sure that you've got your base one selected. And now the first one which we need to add is the Australian dollar. So let's scroll up this list. Uh, there it is. And then I'm holding down the control key on my keyboard and then selecting Australian dollar. And the reason why we do that, so if I scroll on down, can you see that we've got them both clicked there, Dave? Okay, got Australian dollar and we've got British pound sterling. And we also need to add in the euro as well. So let's just scroll down. There's the euro. And then I'm holding down the control key and clicking on euro so that we now have them all selected. So there's the three currencies which we're after. Again, that may be slightly different to yourself. So we've got euro. We've got British pound sterling. OK, so if you're in the US looking to sell into the UK, it's called British pound sterling on there, not GBP which you would expect, which is great British pounds. There is a, like, a little discrepancy in Magento there. And we've got those set. And now we're going to press Save Config in the top right-hand corner. Dave, that's the currency setup done. Well, that was pretty easy. And that surprised me that you got caught out with that one. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, when you go into that, that listing group and then it asks you about your currency, it tells you don't have that currency enabled. And you're like... Where am I supposed to enable it? And that's where you're supposed to enable it. So just to quickly recap, across into system, down into configuration, 
choose currency setup on the left hand side and then remember to hold down the control key on your keyboard and then you can select multiple options and again in our case we've chosen Australian dollars, we've chosen British pound sterling and we've also been in chosen euros as well so euro in there too and of course remember to press save config because if you don't press save it'll catch you out where it call us out later on. So with that said from myself Matt and from me Dave cheerios so for myself matt and of course dave too we both hope that you found this tutorial helpful if you did we'd both really appreciate a thumbs up on youtube either at the top of this video or down at the bottom so on screen right now we have the next part of this tutorial so if you just click on the next tutorial button which is in the top right hand part of the screen you'll head on over there right now if you would like to be notified of the latest video tutorials that myself and Dave publish on YouTube, then also press the subscribe button underneath this video as well. And with that said, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Matt and Dave.